What's up, everybody? How y'all doing today? Hope you're having a great day. I am. Um, I'm actually headed to a meet right now. Um, it's actually a BMW meet, but you know, Toyota Supra, BMW, it's like the same thing. I won't be partaking in any uh, activities because um, a fail on my part, I have yet to install, or I guess not install, I've yet to put on my uh, my welds in the back, you know, so that's a, that's a fail. Looks like we are about 10 minutes away. I really need to wash my car. So after doing my headlight delete and moving that intake up there, my turbo is so loud. Like, listen to this. Sheesh, brother. <laughs> like, how can you resist smiling when you have, when your turbo sounds like that? Oh my gosh. But this paint color is wild. He's got the carbon. I believe he's running like he's running running a lot. He makes good power. Put a lot of carbon on this thing. All over. And then over to my Supra fam. We got Spencer. With the Teehees. And the carbon. I like it. They got both got the Saibon front lips. And he's got the uh, the fenders. These are sweet. He hasn't made them active yet, but he's talked about it. He's got on the drag pack. Boy making some jam with the Saibon wing. This is the wing I got. Except I'm painting the top. And I'm leaving the bottom exposed. A single exit. I think he has the um, RK. I think. Oh yeah, RK Ti. Oops, sorry. So super gang, super super gang. Now I'm over. I'm over. Over there, next to the squad. Got them light up lights. <laughs> A wicked looking filter, like an oval. These things are wild. These people ain't even at the meet, but I heard that this R8 is twin turbo. We're gonna run this thing. Isn't it twin turbo, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. What do you, what do you got? I got the super over there, the silver the one. Super? Yeah. I got the 3000 GT. Oh, okay. I do. I love 3000 GTs. 3000 GTs are sick. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, they're still clean though. And we got a little 3000 GT down here, just big chilling. You don't see those often. In the light? Look at that. That's sick. Oh, we got another super rolling up. If you can see them. Meat's kind of light tonight. Just, I think it was just a pop up BMW meat. I mean, there's other stuff in BMWs here. This is a 5.7. 5.7 Pro Charged. This dude making some jam. Looks like he got fuel. Fuel's done. He's on tire. Apparently, this dude uh, is a Whipple Hellcat. That's what they said. Uh, although, he doesn't have a hood pop. Can I show you? Uh, oh, look. There's the inner chiller. You can see the little thing and then this dude is another hellcat he said he has heat exchanger and intake and he said he has a little bit done to fuel i feel like he's not telling us something my buddy's gonna run this dude tonight uh the red one over there with this the mk4 house spoiler gonna run him and maybe him we only bought him chad doing some filming of the supras be the, the no headlight gang. None of us got headlights. <laughs> next day good morning good morning y'all uh well it's morning for me maybe not for y'all uh but this is the next day so 
last night they ended up doing the races they ran the pro charge 57 and they ran the hellcat with mods um the hellcat was definitely sandbagging he made like 900 he said but you know whatever so they did their runs i wasn't on tire as you guys know uh, so I didn't get to participate in the fun activities as much as I wanted to. So this morning we're doing the Titan Motorsports One Step Quarter Plugs. I've been sleeping on these. Uh, I have yet to do plugs. And, you know, I'm big turbo and running a lot more boost than normal. But I've yet to do them. I kind of forgot. And looking online, you know, recommendations are all over the place. Some shops are like, oh, you can do them when you're at 800 horsepower. We brought stock plugs. Some people are like, oh, we're up to like 600 horsepower, stock plugs, whatever. But I've been doing all my work through uh five performance like getting all my recommendations from them and i asked them i was like yo when should i change my plugs and they said you should have changed them already he's like oh okay well i'm gonna place them right now so i got the new one step quarter plugs uh from factory they're gapped at 30 uh with these five performance told me to gap them at 22 so i'm gonna do that today i decided i'm gonna get a torque wrench that can do the uh increments i need these from factory go down to 23 newton meters new 23 newton meters two inch pounds is 203 and this goes up to 250 from 50 to 250 so this is perfect you guys will need one of these so engines are super weird the walls are super skinny so you can't use a normal 13 mil or 14 mil um you have to get a super thin wall if you see that is super thin okay don't focus it's a super thin wall i got this from burger motorsports uh, i think it was like 10 bucks and then it's got a little magnet inside too if you can see that I got my first plug out. I'll put these all together when I'm done. But yeah, it's pretty much how you take your plugs out. Super easy if you guys have never done it. So I'm gonna take a new plug out. I'm gonna gap it to 23. I got a little spark plug gapper tool. Um, I'm gonna gap it to 23. I'm gonna put a little anti seize on the thread, pop it in there, and then we'll zip through the rest. And lastly, uh, the boot itself goes to 70 newton meters, or not 70, 70 inch pounds. Your boy got cut. Sheesh. Whew, and there we go. Uh, plugs changed. We are good. Uh, you know, something I've always noticed when I've changed plugs on cars from factory is the gaps are never the same amongst all of them. Like every time I would take a plug out, I would measure the gap. Sorry for the blood. Let me actually change hands. Um, <clears throat> the gaps were different among all of them. Like some were like 32, some were as low as 27 and it was all over the place. And it always blows my mind. And what's crazy is before this car, I had the S550 Mustang, uh, 5.0 and I changed the plugs on that one. And I had plugs like as low as like 17 and as high as like 30. And like it, it blows my mind. Cause you would think from the factory, it'd be like perfect, but you know, it's not. So I'm gonna close the hood, back the car in, change the wheels, and the uh, maintenance is good. And I mean, I guess we'll see what else I get into today. So, see you in a bit. All right, so a couple hours later, I got the welds on, as you see. 
I was deciding if I wanted to adjust the suspension in the rear, but you know, to do that on the Supra, you gotta drop the whole rear arm, take the spring out, adjust it, just so much work. So I sat there for like 15 minutes just trying to decide if I wanted to do it or not. I ended up deciding I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna put the welds on. I think I might be able to pull out a little bit of camber to try and straighten these wheels out without straightening or without raising it completely. Cause I do like this fitment. Wait, it's it's a good fit. Um, my buddy's my roommate's Tacoma. This thing's pretty sick. I love the color. Uh, but I could definitely pull out a little camber and not rub. But anyways, there's a meet tonight. I've already edited this video up to this point, and I'm at like 10 minutes, probably 11 minutes now. So I'm gonna wash the car get ready for the meet tonight and then that'll be a whole separate video because like i said this is already a long video and uh i'll just make a separate video for that one i love this intake and what's wild totally off topic of the rest of this video is how much heat you feel come out of this like i haven't drove my car in like four or five hours and i still feel like heat coming out of here so not only is this a good intake but it is also a good like heat extractor imagine it works really well when you're sitting still at like a red light yeah so she looking good she ready to get down so i'll catch you guys in the next video